Hello there. Welcome to a Tyke Farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong the bell. It's Thursday, Thursday morning, nine o'clock. We've got three men on site. Continuing from where they left off yesterday. I don't know exactly what they'll be doing today. I would imagine there'll be two working on the roadway and Soy will be working on the plumbing which is more or less going to be complete so whether you can then go on to cementing the nipples into the wall or you go back to doing gates I don't know we'll wait and see um, I'll do a bit of painting today, the black paint on the railings and the new, and the toss. And uh, we'll take it from there. As usual, I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day and we'll see what we get done. Starting the shutter in. Lunchtime, 12 o'clock. We'll go and see what we've done this morning. We've got shuttering up and uh, just started cutting the real bar. Now the level the pour will be to this step at this level here. So it will be one level then tapering off or you can see the line. We've got the string line up if you can see it on camera. I don't know if you can or not, I don't think you can. So it will taper off to virtually nothing that end. So we're making progress on that. And so he's been filling up the holes where the pig nipples are going. I think he's virtually finished. I'll show you in a pen, because it's looking really neat now. They're completely flush. That's the plastic pipe, the PPS pipe. I keep calling it PPR pipe. PPS pipe. So there's no piping coming into the pens. Normally if you have... Uh, Piping in pig pens, it's galvanised metal pipe, but they still like that. Now I'm thinking here, because I knock out the pig nipples, um, if the cement breaks away, which it will do, 12 months, 2 years, then repair it. But that plastic pipe is going to be more flexible than galvanised metal. So I don't anticipate any problems whatsoever with that piping. And uh, what I've been doing, I've painted a fence down there where they're having the lunch, so I won't problem. I'm just putting a paint on this new metal work. 
and I got to wear. Um, and the paint's finished. So I'm not rushing out to get any more. This afternoon I'm going to concentrate on ordering bits and pieces we need off shopping. Uh, figuring out weighing scales. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces you need for pigs. Syringes. Um, you've got to have them in just in case you need them. Um, antibiotics. Not that I use such things a great deal, but um, if you get a pig what's obviously ill, and you usually know that because the other pigs start attacking it, and you'll see a pen of pigs, and one pig will be have red marks all over its back where the others are, are being at it. And it's a last ditch thing really, you, you separate that pig and give it a Give it some antibiotics and cross your fingers. You can't get a vet in every time for a sick pig. It's too expensive. So I'll make a, a video this evening and we'll see where we finish up at the end of the day. 4.30 just turned. The workmen have just left. So we'll go and have a look, see what we've accomplished at the end of the day. Mostly all day Ramel and Wynn have been working on this bit. We're all shuttered up. We've got the levels, and they'll be pouring it tomorrow. Now, as far as I know, they've been cutting up Rio Bar. Wind's been cutting up. No, it's soy, soy. Uh, sorry, soy has been cutting up round bar. He's starting making gates on both ends now. All the pig nipples are cemented up inside and out. As far as you know, I'll have a quick look. Yeah, we're looking very neat and tidy with the pig nipples now. Now, with a fellow in today, this afternoon, a pig technician salesman for feed he has his own pigs he does AI all the services um, so I've ordered some pig feed off him for these wieners when they come in in a fortnight or just a bit over um, so we've got the feed pelletized feed to start them off now I will be experimenting with feed, but these first lot of pigs in I might put them through on pallets. So they'll be weighed and that will give me a, a base to, with the second lot of pigs in, um, mix my own feed and I can compare the weights of each set of pigs over the weeks, days old as they go through. Which would be a good idea to have a, a base feed. That's what this thing. Yeah. Or pellets as opposed to mixing my own grains. A control line, I suppose you could call it. So, yeah, that's about it for today. Making progress again.
Yeah, it's nice to see jobs completed. So I'll leave the video there. And we'll get back to you and do it all again tomorrow. Don't film you. Okay, I won't I won't I won't film you. <laughs>